Hey guys, no gaming video today. As you can see from the title, you're probably wondering what's wrong with this guy. I just want to get something off my chest real quick. <laughs> Ta -da. But anyways, it was something that happened at work today, which inspired me to make this video. So basically, it was about my experience at work today. I cut my finger. I'm only kidding, guys. To give you guys a bit of context, in a restaurant and the waiter, you know, I currently take orders and serve people food and all that stuff. Today, I call it yesterday because it's past midnight. But uh, it was pretty much like a few hours ago. I was on a night shift and two people working. So me and the other full time. Because it's not really that busy, okay? But there's only two staff. So yesterday was a bit busy. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, but there was like two tables, yeah. The tables was waiting for the main courses. They're both like Chinese people on the table. There was this one dish. This one dish usually takes quite a long time to make. So if you mess up this dish and if you serve it to the wrong table, then the kitchen can be pretty angry at you. And both tables ordered this dish. Me, right? I mean, the skilled waiter as I was. You know, since I've been working here for a year and a half. They've all the other dishes perfectly, without a flaw. To give you guys a bit more information, table one, let's say, was for already full of food, okay? Table two is ordered and they had a few dishes on the table already, just waiting for like that one dish as well. And table one was a big table and table two was a small table. I knew that table one already had the dish because I delivered it, okay? All that was left to do was just deliver that other dish to table two. And voila, the sun would shine. But no, at this point, boss came in. He was getting some dinner for himself as well, waiting for the dinner to be cooked for himself, you know. He was waiting there at the service place. He saw this dish, right, and ticket number, which was clearly table two, okay? But still, I was like, nah, fuck this. I'm doing this my fucking way. Even though I've warned him, guys, bearing in mind, I've told him that this dish was going to table two. He, on the other hand, gave it to table one. The funny thing was, guys, table one acted like they didn't even have the dish, they just ate it again. It was like Chinese people and it was like friends of the boss. So he just, basically, he thought they ordered two portions. He took the first portion, he scooped it into the second portion, the new portion, which was supposed to be for table two. Wow, ice cream pie. <laughs> so if you think that's really impolite, then it's not it's like a culture, you know, because Chinese culture or whatever, I don't care. Anything can happen in a Chinese restaurant. Back to the story, even though I knew it was the mistake was going to happen. I kept it quiet for a bit, you know. I went back to the kitchen with him. He went back to the kitchen as well. And he saw the ticket. He was looking at it and then he pretended that nothing happens. That's what pissed me off today. He knew he messed up. He knew he delivered it to the wrong table. And it was too late to get it back because he scooped the bloody dish onto it. I kept it quiet, guys. I look forward to it to happen. I look forward to the mistake, to the fuck up, to the argument that the kitchen was going to have with him. I wanted it to happen, okay? But no. He was like, he saw the ticket. It was like pretending nothing was gonna happen. Continued as if he didn't knew shit. And then when the kitchen realized someone fucked up the order, he was like, where's the other dish? I'm, I was looking for that dish. Where, where is it gone now? What? We made two dishes. One was supposed to be for table one, one was supposed to be for table two. What the fuck are you on about? Really? Looks at the fucking ticket. Oh fuck. Someone delivered it to the wrong table. And that was when I was the one being fucking blamed. I left the kitchen before the argument happened. I left with a concept of, I fucking told you so. You fucked it up. Let me just make this clear, okay? The kitchen immediately assumed it was me. Because I was not in the kitchen at that time, okay? When the argument happened, I left the kitchen. I had other shit to do, okay? All the meals were delivered. The two staffs working. The other one's kind of like disabled. So I had to do other shit as well. The kitchen assumed. Automatically, I fucked up the dish. Everyone had the idea that it was me. Don't you think this is accusation, guys? Well, it's not a big deal, like, compared to the shit in this world. For being blamed for something that you clearly didn't do. And it just goes to show that the ones with more power that speaks usually comes up with an edge. In this case, it was the owner of the restaurant compared to a regular employee. This is really easy for someone with authority to just say one word and that word can just fuck up the sentence and then the whole situation would snowball to the other side. So my case was poor student compared to a restaurant owner. Who do you think the people are going to listen to? Yes, it's pretty clear. And the idea of switching sides, not switching sides, but switching the overall gender. 2,000 years later. The idea of how one single sentence, or not even saying anything at all, can misguide people to directly think of the situation to be the completely other side when it's not. Solely based on the fact one person has more authority than the other person. Had he said anything otherwise, such as, I made the mistake, it's not a big deal guys, but not in the Chinese culture. That was him who made a simple error. Oh sorry, my mistake. Tomorrow I give you free lunch. The situation wouldn't have been 
that bad. Although the situation wasn't really that bad for me either, I'm just saying he's probably not gonna get as big of a consequence as I did since he's the owner and he pays people the wages. People respect him for that. So they work for him, you know what I'm saying? But in my case, I was fucking innocent. Still, I was fucking shouted by the kitchen. Being harmful comments being dished at me. I had to take all that shit, you know? In a terrible mood as I was, as emotional as I was, I was still a pretty rational person. So just think about all the events that happen in history, guys. Do you agree that all the indefensible deaths of people were caused by the ones usually with more power and authority? Just because you don't want to let people know that you were the one that fucked up. Instead of apologizing, and saying sorry or just say that I fucked up you automatically replied in a way that had no regards of the consequences and led people to assume the situation otherwise and it's all simply because you don't want to lose that tiny sense of security and pride that you have being the owner of the leadership being the owner of the restaurant whilst the other person can be losing a lot more than you would have lost if you said otherwise it is as simple as that